Hey everybody, it's Seiki here and welcome to the second vlog that I'm doing on this channel and I thought I would discuss Road to Ranked, how I feel the series went, what's the future for the series and just a few other bits and pieces if I have anything at the end that I can think of. This is going to be a bit different to the last one. The last one I curated really carefully and I sort of like did lots of cuts to make sure it was correct and this one's going to be more of a stream of consciousness so there's going to be a bit more stumbling over my words and a bit more getting words wrong things like that but hopefully I'll get the point across. So first up Road to Rank, the actual result of where I placed and stuff um, I was hoping I'd get higher but uh, it happens that's happened I can't change it now I'm not too worried about the the actual SR I got, I mean, it's fine. Um, I wanted to get gold, but hey, it's just a game. Um, what I'm not particularly happy with, and this is because it affected me really more than anything else when I was doing the placement matches, was I was recording one, maybe two placement matches a week, and then I was uploading them, obviously, every Thursday. And that really held me back, because... I was playing games as like, I want to be recording some ranked games, but I can't because I've not put all the placement matches up yet. So, what I'm planning on doing for next season of Road to Ranked is I'm going to basically put them up just each day, weekdays. I'm not going to put any up on the weekend. But on the first day of the season, so that's Tuesday the 28th of February, I'm going to record the first couple of matches. I'm going to get them immediately edited and uploaded to the to YouTube so that they can be released on the 1st and 2nd of March respectively. And then I'll just record another couple each night and get them edited and uploaded until all 10 placement matches are done. After that, I want to continue the series and I'm going to record games every now and then. Um, they're not going to be um, based in order though, so the SR will jump about the place as I go through the games, but I'm going to have maybe Tuesday and Thursday, there'll be a road to ranked game up. If something really cool happens, I might put an extra one up, obviously, I mean, I've got that option, but Tuesday and Thursday is going to be road to ranked day, and that's how I'm going to continue with the series from there. Just because I think that that format is going to work a bit better. The the one a week staggered like that, like say, just just didn't work for me. The other thing I'm doing with next season is I am going to focus on one character. Now I'm hoping in the placement matches I can get this character every time. If I can't, it's going to ruin the entire thing, really. But here's hoping that I manage it. When it comes to the like recorded matches after that I will only be showing matches where I played that character. I'm not telling you what the character is, I'm not going to tell you because I'm going to slightly rename the series, a bit of a play on it to fit with the character but um, I have been playing that character a little bit in quick play and what is competitive at the moment, just getting some practice in and I'm doing I think okay for my level anyway I, I mean there's obviously room for improvement, I'm not, not even um, diamond or Go well, platinum. I'm trying to remember the correct word. No, it's platinum after goal, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm I'm not platinum. I'm definitely not diamond. So, um, I'm hoping though, like I say, goal for next season is to get to gold. That is, that is where I'm aiming. The other thing is, as much as I'm going to solo queue the placement matches, all of the future matches. So anything else I do, I may do in groups with people I've met, basically online with some of my actual friends things like that and just spice it up a bit make it a bit more interesting but again those matches it's just gonna see what happens really as for the channel um i'm still developing the looking back series um i have a script written for or mostly written for the first episode i have the footage recorded for the first episode but just uh, life and work and things like that have meant that I've not managed to put it all together. That's kind of on the back burner, and but I will, I will come out. I I do want to do. It. I I love games from when I was a child. Well, I say a child, uh, 
early teens and about 10, 11. I really did love games that I played back then on my consoles and I want to share them with the world. And basically the fact that there's going to be a lot of people out there that have never even heard of some of these games, which is an absolute travesty. I would like to speak to you about a video I put out though. And I'm actually going to share some information with you um, here because it's, it's something that a lot of YouTubers say. And I just want to um, make the point as well. I do monetize my videos. I mean, I've got very few followers, as you can see, very few subscribers. Not a lot of people watch the videos, which which I understand. I'm a, I'm a new channel. That's going to build up. But I did a sort of first very quick look at a game called Curveball, which is a VR game that the dev was kind of giving me a code for. So, full disclosure, I didn't pay for the game. It was given to me. And it's had a hundred and something, I think it was 118 views when I last checked. Um, haven't looked for a bit, but in fact, you know what? I've got, I've got YouTube open here, so let's just go into my analytics here and have a quick look. So, take a look at Curveball. Has currently had 149 views, which... For me is a huge amount out of that though the amount of views that um, actually count for monetization is 18 that's a staggering like staggeringly low percentage of the views that are monetized and that will be due to ad block now I'm going to put my hands up. I use Adblock as well. I, I think everybody has to these days. The, too many websites that have um, malicious ads on them. I don't blame anybody for having Adblock on their computer. But seriously, just a little thing like whitelist, whitelist my channel if you can, please. I mean, I don't ever expect to make a living off this. But there's a few things I want to do. Like I want to do more reviews. And I want to be at the point where I can at least cover buying games to review them through ad revenue and through my channel revenue. But obviously, I'm, I'm no place near that at the moment. But the one video, obviously, that I've had that could have potentially generated a bit of revenue to help me buy another game. Uh, you know, you can see that you've seen, heard the results. So if, if you are listening to this and you could find it in yourself to just whitelist my channel, please, please do it. It will help me a lot. Well, thank you very much for watching and sitting through the discussion and the bit of a rant I had at the end there. If you have enjoyed this video or if you like my stuff at all, please put a like on the video. Um, if you want to get updates about when I'm putting videos out, please subscribe to the channel. We are still Spiky Logic on Facebook and Twitter. That hasn't changed. I am going to start trying to update the Twitter a bit more. That's definitely on the on the cards because at the moment I only really update it for the um for when I release a video. You can also follow at Seiki Biz S four K E Y if you want a bit more information, like just a bit more about what I like and what I post. But you're gonna get lots of non gaming content like ice hockey formula one things like that in there as well lots of geeky stuff it's all good it's all good but once again thank you very much for watching thank you for coming to my channel and hopefully you'll be with me for my future videos have a good one guys cheers